the travel lodge stay maiden is next and this is four miles and two furlongs and uh, the top one is indoor beginning for craig beck with high edge gray john morgan panzer for martin it looks like my horse is running john morgan silks again savinian seasons for ryan costello sonic to dream for james shea linker solzen for graham clutterbuck pump alone flagship alex cherry sensitive jewels for craig allen sheila citron for darren thompson silver for david hooley superior ninja for derek hinton and yossum gassi for david robertson they're already racing and the gray in the lead is high edge gray and we've got the similar problem that we had in the last race in that we've got a very very small text box but we'll maybe try a little bit harder this time it looks like we might be stuck with that for the whole meeting and it's end or beginning that's now gone on into the lead from high edge gray in second and then um i'll quite see what that one is in third it's some like sonic to dream i think and then Savinian seasons in the blue jacket down on the inside and right over on the far side i can see derek hinton's silks and as they get over the first of the 28 fences i can tell you that mine is the back marker running in john morgan's colors that's blue with the yellow cap so they get over the second um I can pick out the gray because that's got my old silks on it that's david hooley's horse that's called silver as they get to this ditch and there's a faller there it's john morgan's has gone and so too has another one um i think it might be is it leon's i think leon's might have gone there so it looks very much as though Leon's horse is out. Savinian Seasons, high edge grey, definitely gone the grey, but John Morgan in the lead. So that's left end all beginning well clear by a good six lengths. And then back in second is Sonic to Dream, with in third place um, it's Superior Ninja, I think that one's called. And uh, then Alex Cherry's horses after that one, that's Pampalone flagship. Then David Hooley Silver's on the inside. Then I can see uh, my horse Panzer is making a bit of a forward move in the light blue. Then Graham Clutterbuck's horses after that one. And then at the back, it's Craig Allen, Darren Thompson, and David Robertson from the inside out. So I think they'll probably maybe commentate on the trainer rather than the horse in these races because I haven't learned the names of these horses yet. It's only week two. And the end or beginning for Craig Beckwith takes this fence in the lead. That will probably be the last time on the next circuit. Derek Hinton's horse made a mistake there. Alex Cherries was after that one. Then David Hooley. Then comes Graham Clutterbuck on the outside of Craig Allen with me after that one. And then David Robertson and Darren Thompson towards the back. So past the totalisator board, then past the winning post, past the big screen, and swing out right handed for another circuit or two of this. Ascot track and the picture is so sharp we can virtually see every blade of grass can't we but it's uh, end or beginning in the lead and uh, in second place is Sonic to Dream for James Shea then comes Superior Ninja and Silver and after that one Alex Cherry's horse Pampalone flagship right over on the inside there is sensitive jewels as they take this next one with Panzer after that. And Sheila Citron is the one that's widest on the track. The one that's just last is Yumi Cassie, I think it's called. And Grand Clutterbuck's horse in the middle of that lot is the one that I missed dead. And that's called Linker Solzen, I think, as they get over number nine. Uh, just lost a two so far then. So they get to this ditch. We we'll see them all safely over that one. With indoor beginning still clear in the lead. Sonic to Dream second, Silver third. They get to a plane fence next. Which they're all over though. David Robertson's horse was a little bit untidy at the back. And we've lost something over here. Pumpalone flagship's gone. So the picture might be sharp, but that's more. I can't see what's going on. So I don't know where that one went. But uh, we've missed out on that one. That is for the poor commentary so far today. It's a bad work when it blends his tools though, isn't it? So it's end or beginning and it's in the lead from Sonic to Dream second. Silver is third. The rest of them are all in a heat, really, with the exception of David Robertson's Yoon Cassie or Yoon Cassie or Yoon Castle. That's right at the back as they get to this next one, which they do all get over this time. End or beginning is in the lead. It's a four mile two furlong on this, isn't it? So these are potential grand national horses. We're getting a little bit closer now. So 
So we've got to pick them out better as well as they get over that ditch. And it's indoor beginner who's had a had an undisputed lead all the way around so far. And well, he has done since high edge grey fell anyway. And the second of the greys, the one that's still in the race, Silver is just about poking his head into second, although Sheila Citron is taking alternate nods into second place. Tucked it on the inside is um, I think it's Sonic to Dream. Then Panzer. And Sensitive Jewels and Superior Ninja. And then the Grand Clutterbuck horse on the outside of David Robertson's horse. And they're the, they're the back two. It is called Link of Souls, and that's a uh, horse of Grand grown Clutterbuck. The reason that that's thrown me is that I've got a horse called Link of Souls as well. Obviously, it's a game horse that we didn't change, and neither has changed the name of it. And it very nearly got into my team, so it's a good job it didn't, otherwise, we'd have had two Link of Souls running around at the back because that's where mine usually run. And at the moment this season, that's where Grey seemed to be running as well. So that's why that's thrown me a little bit. I think it's called Link of Souls, and it looks like it's Link of Souls. Anyway, they passed the winning post, they've got another circuit to go, and end all beginning is the leader by three. Sheila Citron is on the inside of Silver and Panzer, and then uh, Sensitive Jewels is after that one. Sonic to Dreams just dropped back a little bit, then Superior Ninja with Yoon Cassiel coming round the outside, and the back marker of the remaining horses is Linker Solzen at the back. So the leader's lead is not quite as big as it was then, it's down to about three now I think um, they're beginning to bunch behind and again the leader did not jump that well, he went right down on his nose and they're now within half a length of him and in all beginning and Panzer and then Sheila Citron and Silver and Sensitive Jewels they all begin to bunch up then now coming down to this next fence and they're all safely over that one as well and even the Grand Clutterbuck horse at the back is now well in touch and this is a wide open race and end will begin it if he'd been jumping properly he'd probably still be a good seven or eight lengths clear but he jumped that one much better but he didn't jump it as well as silver and silver is clear second now with sensitive jewels creeping ever closer in third and panzer and Sheila Citron as they take that next one and we've lost another one there that's Derek Hinton's horse gone this time that's superior ninja so nothing very really superior about that one today and it's on the floor horse continuing riderless jockey sitting there looking distraught but it's end or beginning impressed by silver and sensitive jewels panzer sticking on in there in fourth then Yoon Cassiel is trying to get into it and Sheila Citron's just lost its place a little bit after that one is Sonic to Dream and a gap back to Linker Souls and is the back marker as they take that next one and they're all over that one okay and I'm trying to lean forward to see how many fences they've got left I think this might be the fifth from home as they get over that one and now the lead is has been taken over by Sensitive Jewels. So Sensitive Jewels come to this ditch and lands in the lead. Sensitive Jewels then going on there from the long time leader end or beginning. Then comes Silver and Panzer together and Yoon Castile. This might well be the third last as they get over that one. Good jump towards the back there by Sheila Citron. And now it's Sensitive Jewels and Silver who are disputing the leader's end or beginning. Seems like he's coming much closer to his end than his beginning. And it's Sensitive Jewels who's got about a neck up from Silver in second. Then Panzer sticking on well in third. End or beginning beginning to drop away. Then Yoon Cassil trying to run on is um, Sonic to Dream. Then Sheila Citron has really lost her place, but it's Sensitive Jewels and Silver. Then, as they come to this, this is the second last. Over that one they go, and it's Sensitive Jewels in clear in the lead from Silver in second. Then comes Yoon Cassil on the inside of Panzer. These four are clear of the remainder as they come down towards the final fence. And it's Sensitive Jewels looking like he's probably only got to jump it, or she's only got to jump it to take this one. Coming down towards the final fence then. Sensitive Jewels gets over it well, gets away from it. Yoon Castle jumped it better than Silver, so moves into second. Silver's in third, and Panzer is in fourth, and they're finishing pretty well strung out as they come up towards the line. It's Sensitive Jewels that takes it. 
Sensitive jewels wins the four mile two furlong maiden and that may be laying down a marker for the Grand National later in the season. Jim Cassiel is second, Silver is third, Panzer is fourth and then Sonic to Dream and End will begin in and Sheila Citron and finally Linker Souls in so a dramatic race hopefully not ruined by the bad commentary and it's a win for Craig Allen as we take a look at the result there is insensitive jewels for Craig Allen the winner Hugh Cassie is good for David Robertson was second Silver for David Hooley was third Panzer for Martin Linden was fourth and Sonic to Dream for James Shea ran into fifth <laughs>